Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the giant blue hole. Today, we are out in Dave the Diver once again, and I'm super excited for this episode because I think we're going to be getting deeper into the whole Sea People quest line. If you missed the last episode, I have saved the Sea People, and right now I need some thicker gloves to pull out a rod so we can uh, essentially make an avalanche deep down below. Because I guess their actual town is below that avalanche, so I'm waiting for those gloves right now, and I figured we'd go out and try and get some more sushi for tonight so we can earn some more money. Uh, but yeah, Dr. Bacon should be talking to us tomorrow about those gloves, so right now we're kind of just waiting it out. There is some side quests to try and get some specific dishes, uh, so I'll see if I can get those today. But yeah, essentially all we're doing right now is trying to get a bunch of loot. All right, so pretty easy day. I didn't even go too deep, but I did get a lot of the fish that I need. I'm already over encumbered, so I may as well just end today because Dr. Bacon's going to talk to us tomorrow. And yeah, I got the uh, fish that I needed for at least one of these side quests, so we should hopefully get that done today. Okay, so I didn't get the more I eel, but I think I have everything for this. So the white trevally kelp and soy sauce. Uh, it doesn't actually say what that is, but I'm assuming I should be able to find white trevally here. Okay, so this is the dish the one customer wants. I guess that's the um, the blue head there. So we can at least get that one done. I didn't get any more eels, so we cannot get the other quest done, but that's fine. Um, I haven't actually figured out a way to kill the eels, so we, there is a way to kill them, obviously. I'm assuming maybe now that I'm doing more damage, I should try and shoot them and see what happens. We actually don't have a lot of high-ticket items right now, unfortunately, uh, but we should be able to earn at least a little bit of money. All right, we'll open up and see how we can do today. I have to remember also we need a little more money to get that new server, so I would really like to get that done as well. Uh, so I know one of these customers wants that new dish, so we'll get that one done. Okay, and it's this one right now here. Oh, can I? Oh, because it's on the menu, I can't give it to her. I didn't know it worked that way. Damn it. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. I need, I need to help. Oh, I actually can give it to her. Okay, so I'm not sure why I could talk to her earlier, but that's okay. There we go. We did the one quest. How do you like it? Is it good? Of course it's good. Here we go. Oh my god, the puppet this time. <laughs> God, the cutscenes on this game are freaking next level. It's too good. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we have another happy customer. All right. So she wants me to catch some sort of fish as well. Uh, I guess with a net because she's never seen one in real life. A bug net. I think it might work. I'll give it a shot. Another quest I have to do. So I guess that's another person we might be working with or it could just be a side quest. Uh, but yeah, we can catch small creatures. There has been quite a few that I... I can't catch, so I guess that's what the net's for. The really small creatures, like the seahorses. All right, so that's convenient. I'm glad I did that side quest, because we just have more access to more types of fish down there. Oh my god, I need that other server so badly. I wonder if I could actually hire him right now. I do have enough money. Let's actually see. Does it pause? It does. Okay, sick. Uh, so we wanted El Nino, because he has the best serving. There goes all my money, but yes, we are going to hire him... And I think he'll start working tomorrow. So there we go. Got that done. All right. We definitely need that server. Wasn't a great day. We're probably back at three stars. Uh, but I guess that's a good problem considering we are just in that high demand. We actually got four. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, but it definitely could be better. Hopefully with El Nino tomorrow, we'll be okay again. All right. But Dr. Bacon should be showing up in early access. 1029 is the last date. But gameplay is continuously accessible. So does that mean I reached the end of the early access? I'm so confused. What's the date right now? I mean, Dr. Bacon's here at least, so that's good. I got the glove. Uh, so I think there's still more I can do, but that's all oh, that bums me out. I'm really happy to see that they're going to be developing the story more, though, than what's in early access. But I think we might be nearing the end. So I'm wondering if the date's not going to change and we can just continue doing the quest uh, at our leisure. All right, so objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. Uh, I accidentally hit twice there. Uh, I think it wants me to grab something here. Yeah, right here. Okay. So I can grab a rock. Oh, and then I can use said rock. Okay, so I've seen a lot of these before. Uh, so now I know how to break them. I was trying to do dynamite, but uh, clearly that makes a lot more sense. And then I can grab this again. And we can go through the opening. Cool. All right, looks like we have an anchor here. I'm assuming that's something else we can grab. Nope, I guess not. But we can grab the pipe. Whoa, 
current straw, grab that anchor so you won't sweep away. I was wondering what the anchor was for. <laughs> Dude, this game just gets better and better. Okay, I wonder what mechanics we have to deal with down there now. All right, so grab the stake, pull. Come on. Come on, Dave, you can do it, buddy. Pull that thing. Did it. All right. And we got the treasure up top. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial on grabbing, I guess. Well, Dr. Bacon left abruptly. Um, in any case, these diving gloves look like they can come in very handy. I heard that the sea people are waiting for you. All right, so let's go down and finally unlock whatever is down there for the sea people. All right, I also tried out the net. Can I net this little guy? Yes, I can. <laughs> so the net's pretty simple. You just press space on top of anything that's small enough. Oh, there's the little guy that I need. So we're going to catch him. Uh, that was for a quest. So perfect. Also, we're getting close to the sea people. I just need a UV light. Usually, yeah, there's one over here. It should be. And indeed it is. Okay, and here we are. Uh, pile of rocks is moving. Where are the sea people? Are they below this? Are they hiding? <laughs> oh, it's the freaking octopus again. Where are you going to leave me this time, buddy? This guy really doesn't like me. Okay, so he's going down there. So I need a rock. Well, that's convenient because we got rocks right here. So we'll take this. And there we go. Done. Finally got through those things. I wonder if that's how we kill the crab. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, let's try that. Been trying to figure out how to kill these guys for a while. So come on, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Careful. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Perfect. All right, we're going to eat well today. Let's go find those sea people now. Or or the octopus again. Dave really just wants to kill this guy. Dave's turning into a savage. All right, so looks like he's at a dead end. Am, am I really going to kill this guy? I can't kill the adorable octopus. Oh, he gave me something. Looks like he also maybe opened that up. Yes, he did. All right. It always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. Yeah, Dave, chill out, man. I mean, at least we can go deeper now. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Okay. All right. So that's two artifacts in this episode. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got... Ooh. Okay. So I have to go around. All right. I'm back. I was afraid to be eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. I think I'll be able to put out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go do this. All right, gloves don't fail me now. This this is the big moment. We might actually see where the sea people live for once. Come on. There we go. You got it, Dave. Done. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, maybe it did. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully it didn't... Oh, that didn't, that didn't seem to do anything. Come on. Is there something else we have to do? It was effective, but not enough. I think one more attempt might cut it. With what? There's another rock pile over there. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I won't complain. I have to go up, though. There's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Well, I do see that there's one up on top of it. I just got to figure out how to get over there. Okay. Is this it? Am I, am, I, am I at the right place? I don't even know where I am anymore. Ow! God, I hate those guys so much. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Come on. There we go. Got it. And this better be what we needed. Because we're out of rocks at this point. Oh my god, is that it? Okay, thank god. I thought it got stuck. Where are the sea people? Well, I don't know. Good, we have a path. Perfect. You're more useful than you look. Thanks. Oh my god, this is the moment I was waiting for. We finally get to figure out what this sea village is all about. Oh, I'm at critical depth. Oh, crap. This is too low for me. Hold on. Let's just do the cutscene and see what happens. Oh, should I have upgraded my suit? I don't think we're there yet. Oh, God. Come on. Go on ahead and be our lookout. Dude, I can't. My suit is not good enough. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Dude, I am going to die. This is too deep for me. Yeah, I'm actually going to die. I'm sorry. I have to leave. This is critical depth for me. I'm going to have to get some upgrades first. Well, <laughs> we still don't get to see the village. Oh, God, this sucks. I love how I'm just leaving them hanging. I have to get out of here or I'm actually going to die. And I'd rather keep the stuff that I just got. So we're deeper. Now I just need to get a suit upgrade. All right, let's see what this artifact is. I have to change my artifacts. I always forget about these. Octopus weapon charm. Serious weapon charm left behind by the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if attached to a gun. Gun damage increased by 30%. 
yeah, we will add that to the weapon. That's actually fantastic. Uh, I actually don't remember how much it's going to cost to get uh, an upgrade on my suit. All right, we're actually almost there. So perfect timing. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go all the way back down there, but we may as well just... Should we end it today? No, let's do one more dive just to get some uh, sushi real quick. But yeah, tomorrow we will go back down and hopefully the sea people are still there. <laughs> kind of left them hanging, but I would have died anyways. All right, I'd like to try and figure out those moray eels anyways. That way we can do that side quest. They're usually chilling in these like cave systems at the shallows. I actually don't recognize these. Barrel jellyfish. This is new. What the hell? This is right at the surface. This is, this is the crazy thing about this game. Like... I've played so much of it, and I'm still learning about new things in the shallows. Oh, I can pick up sea urchins now because of my diving gloves, too. Sea urchins are sh juicy. Just the thought of it makes me drool. That's gross. I hate sea urchins. Um, but yes, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I forgot I couldn't pick those guys up. Interesting. I need a barracuda for something right now. I don't even know what that would be for. But I'll take it. All right, I didn't find any eels, but I slowly made my way to the depths again. I didn't realize I needed five of these Clion things, so we may as well get that done. And then I might head back, or I just might get some loot here. Actually, yeah, I'll just stay here, only because it's worth so much here. Just need one more. I should look around more. No crap. Oh, God. What now? Uh... Is that the mother? I hope it's not the mother. All right, well, now I'm scared to get the final one, so that'll be fun. Oh, my God, this is... This guy is so powerful. I need to get perfects every time. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm kind of scared. I mean, I did kind of get warned. Should I go back up now? Uh, oh, I knew it. I knew the mom was coming back. Hello. Oh, I don't even... My God! What am I supposed to do about that? Oh, great. So now I'm in the middle of nowhere. What is this place? Indeed. I thought I was just doing a side quest. Now I'm fighting a beautiful... I don't even know what this thing is. I don't know what a Clion is. It is not happy. Th oh, God. Clion Queen. I'm not prepared for a boss fight. I was just having a relaxing day. All right. Let's defeat this thing. I don't even know if I have a gun, honestly. <laughs> do I have a gun? Okay, I do. Good. All right. Let's see if we can figure out its mechanics. It's scary. All right. Shoot it. Done. Thirteens. Woohoo. Okay, it's got poison shots. First projectile we've seen. Oh, great shot. Great shot, Dave. There we go. That's a little better. Die, 49s. Okay, I am running out of air. Excuse me, just time out one second, please. Oh, it died. Well, that was easy. Okay, poison, watch out. Ah, it's not dead. It's not dead. Oh, crap. No, please. All right, hold on. I, ha I still have oxygen. I just need to pull him over here and run away. I don't want to use too much of my sprint, but I need to get down here. I need to get this now or I'm dead. Please! I got it. Okay, I didn't get it. I didn't... Fr what the hell? It, it used it. I'll friggin' mind you. All right, I need, I need to kill it now. I'm done. I'm out of bullets. Do you have any more air here, sir? No? Okay. All right, well, the good thing is with boss fights, it looks like we can restart them. As we had the issue before, too, we kept dying, so... Oh, let's try that again. At least we know we have the sniper rifle. All right, so you can get headshots. I am realizing that. I definitely don't want to waste these shots. Of course I waste that one. That's fine. I mean, it's still 41 as compared to 49. Oh, God. I didn't realize I shot three now. I think I'm going to die again. I need to just go for this and see if I can kill him real quick. There we go. I got him. I got him. Oh, the question is, am I going to get any freaking oxygen once he dies because <laughs> i already used the oxygen what a monster indeed it still stings let me see if there's anything useful maybe freaking oxygen oh god damn it i mean i'm gonna grab whatever it is please tell me it's oxygen what is that i don't know if we're gonna have time to have a look dave dave i i, I need oxygen dave <laughs> a photo of mackie i'll have to take it up for now oh thank god okay <laughs> Talk about cutting it close. A lot of good stuff today. Looking at these small creatures that I got. They're worth a decent amount. Not a lot, but uh, actually really good. The tiger shrimp, 50 each. Okay, they're definitely worth it. Um, regardless, they're so light that uh, I'm going to be picking up a lot of those small guys because the more of those we can get, the better.
All right, today should be a good one, though. We have that new employee, so we should hopefully be able to deal with the demand of uh, Bancho Sushi, and uh, we should have a decent amount of good sushi as well to sell. The Clion, like you asked, it's so beautiful. Thank you, Dave. And I found this. It's a photo of me. So wait, why? What's going on? Why did the, why did the giant thing have a photo of her? There was a huge Clion, and I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Oh, okay, so long story. I probably cut this out, but she was looking for her father or something. <laughs> and now there's a love story or something with the giant Clion I just killed. Mackie, it's your father. What the hell is this game? If you're watching this, then I've probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned into a, an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life. In your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I hope she works here. That would be so cool. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. Oh, man, that, that hits right in the heartstrings. Seems to have cut off. Dave, just shut up. Don't be too upset. It seems your father really loved you, Mackie. Oh, is she actually going to work here? My father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard. And as you've shown concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Bancho likes you. Oh my god, I'm getting two employees today. This is an amazing day. Dude! <laughs> this is so great! This day is turning amazing! Okay, well, we got two new employees. Alright, so we just gotta add Mackie to cooking. Good cook! Everything else is absolutely awful. And, wow, talk about that. We have doubled our staff in one day. Oh, I don't have to do anything anymore, probably. This is going to be great. Hello, new guy. I'll satisfy the customers with my signature movements. You do that, El Nino. All right, I haven't done any training either. So, you know what? Oh, why didn't I do this? There's too many things to manage in this game. Um, Who do I want to train? That's the question. Honestly, Kyoko needs some work. I think I might just hire someone else for her. So I'm going to actually train the new guy. And that's going to help with his serving immensely. From 93 to 140. Holy crap. Why wasn't I doing this long ago? And you know what? Let's get... Uh, actually, no. Let's do both the new ones. Because they're technically better at what I'm getting them to do. That's going to put her at 200 cooking. Dude. I can't believe I forgot about the training aspect. Okay. Okay. We still don't have any of their skills, so we got to train them a lot more. But that kind of explains why I've been struggling so much. I haven't been training my clients, or employees, rather. All right, let's see how easy it is now that we've doubled our employees. We'll open up. I might just be serving beer and tea today, which I hope for, because this is stressful. All right, let's see if you guys can keep up today. We got a lot of people coming in, which is great. We have a decent menu today as well, so I think this might be a very profitable day. Oh my god, they're so much faster. They are just... Look at this! You guys are keeping up? All I have to do is serve green tea. This is so peaceful now, as the money flows in. All right, well, let's see how we did. I don't think we let, met, let anyone leave. Should be a very profitable day. And our best day ever! 1,500 bucks in the bank. 4.6... That drop was due to me missing some beers, so it's all my fault. And that is by far our best day yet. Shocking, considering we have doubled our employees. All right, guys. Well, I hate to end off on a cliffhanger, but a lot has happened already in this episode. And, well, we still haven't seen the Sea People Village. I really thought that was going to be, you know, the starting of today. But there's always something else to do in this game. And uh, we unlocked a lot once again. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dave the Diver. In the next one, I mean, I hope we make it to the Sea People Village. But no promises, considering it seems like every time we get a little bit closer, something else happens. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this journey. Thank you so much for your continued support on the series. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>